good day everyone my name is Ruslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel so I hope you guys are good I hope everything is fine on your side and uh, guys I hope you're enjoying my videos all right so if you learn something from them and if you find them interesting then please do share and subscribe I mean the more you like the videos and the more they're gonna get recommended to other users all right so let's make sure that our videos reach a lot of people and uh, you know for today um, you know check this out so I was roaming around uh, Pinterest and I found an image and uh, guys check these out so these are gloss uh, glass blocks right so look at how beautiful they are and uh, you know um, they're they're very widely used right I mean we see them quite often so they are in uh, an important or you could say a widely used material inside the construction industry and uh, you know as a revit designer when I look at something like that the first thing that came into my mind is that how do we make this inside revit so that's the video for today and uh, you know I decided to replicate something very random so check this out look at how beautiful this image this image is so this is just a random image from the internet and we are going to be replicating this image inside revit today right so let's quickly get started and you know these are glass blocks so they're simply a, a glass block and uh, they have an aluminium frame um, around it all right so it's nothing hard nothing very special so the first thing is that i opened an architectural template <coughs> excuse me that's uh, um, i opened up an architectural template i changed the units i pressed un i changed the units to millimeters all right and you know the concept that we are going to be using is curtain panels all right so we're we're going to make a wall panel and then we are um, you know we'll make a curtain wall right here and we're going we're going to import that panel into the curtain wall all right we're going to do that in a while so when you open this the first thing is press u and now you know i'm gonna i'm gonna speed up all right mm, i'm gonna talk less and more work so i change the units and uh, let's close all um inactive views and uh, let's press rp let's make uh, a reference plane and rp again and uh, rp again now di so one and two and three fine uh, put that uh, add a constraint and one and the two fine now one and the two okay perfect so now let's click on that let's click on that and this is going to be the H E I G H T okay and uh, this one is going to be the W I um, D T H perfect so now let's go back to our family types I mean the settings and let's set this to 200 by 200 okay perfect so check this out so uh, you know our parametric layout is already complete now let's make our first uh, frame a rectangle and I want the depth to be 20 mm <laughs> excuse me so um, let's make the rect a rectangle let's lock all the sides all the sides are locked and um, now the second rectangle so the second uh, is gonna have an offset of 20 and uh, space and okay and uh, check this out so our first frame is already made and now the second glass which is again going to extrude and you know in this case we are going to be using a bit of maths all right in a while so you're going to learn quite a few things today and today's video is overall not hard it is easy so now it's the glass turn and you know the glass is always a bit smaller than um the i mean the the main frame all right so uh, that's why i gave it an offset of 10 and a space to put it inwards fine perfect so now we have pasted the glass we have pasted that now let's go back to our 3d view check this out so this is what we have let's go to our right side let's um, let's click on that and uh, you know let's copy and let's paste it into the same place right so check this out now we have pasted that and let's go to realistic and uh, um, you know now we are going to be using a bit of maths right so we have a total of three different um, structures two three different um, you could say elements so you know it's sort of a graph this is the zero point where my cursor is located so if you click on this this is the zero and the end is going to be 20. so then the glass the start of the glass is going to be 20 and the end is going to be um the end is going to be 120. perfect check this out it already got aligned now in this case the start is going to be um 120 120 and the end is going to be 140 because it has a thickness of 20 mm so check this out so just a bit of maths and you have already arranged everything okay so now everything is perfect right now let's change the materials of this into controllable parameters now our next task is to make everything as parametric as possible so the first is the materials you know i have to speed up guys our video is going long so this is the material of the frame so this is going to be f r a m e m a t e r i a l okay we have changed this into a controllable parameter this is going to be the material of this is going to be um uh, g l a s s and m a t e r uh, m a t E R I A L. Okay, I'm fine. And uh, the third one. Um, okay, and the third one is gonna be 
um, this is going to be the same as the previous one which is the frame material perfect and uh, now um, let's go let's quickly go to this so the frame material it can be anything um, white right for example this is what we saw in our in our reference image so anything white anything white something beautiful and something white okay this one looks <laughs> okay why perfect and uh, now in this case this is going to be um, glass g l a s s so uh, you know let's try to select this glass but i want to change it because you know these glasses for example if we um go back to our um, our main um, you could say uh, our main tab so you know these glasses uh, they're never very clear all right they are always a bit uh, corrugated all right they're corrugated glasses so this is what we are going to be doing inside of it so in this case i think i have found a grass which uh, kind of represents a corrugated grass so if you write bubble this glass right here this is a corrugated glass right fine so updated use rendered view okay perfect so check this out our frame is already made right so this is the corrugated glass and this is the white aluminum frame right let's go let's try to or in fact you know let's leave this so let now let's make this as parametric as possible you know this is our zero point that is our 20 point so let's change this this is going to be uh what is this going to be this is going to be um first uh frame um e and d okay first frame and perfect now uh this one uh this is going to be the what is this going to be this is going to be glass um, e and D all right and uh, this one is gonna be new this is gonna be glass s t a r t perfect and now this one is gonna be um, mm, this is gonna be second uh, frame s t a r t and uh, so now it is completely parametric our entire shape is parametric and this one is gonna be uh, second f r a m e e n d check this out so guys 80 percent of our video is already done all right so look at all the parameters that we have made and our shape is completely parametric for example uh, the first frame end right if we change this to 40 and uh, look at this uh, everything is going to change let's go back to 20 and you know i want the total distance to be nine inches right because this is what the wall usually is so nine inches is about 220 mm right so for example if, if the first frame ends at 20 the the glass will start at 20 and let's change this to um 180 okay and this means that the second frame is then gonna start at 180 and uh, the second frame is gonna um second frame is gonna end at 200 all right so apply and check this out guys so our shape is completely parametric and now it covers a nine inches wall so now let's load into the project all right uh, very easy nothing hard and now let's go back to our walls so uh curtain wall i think we need um curtain wall one right all right now uh, we are in level one and uh, let's set um nope see curtain wall and uh, curtain wall one all right so this is going to be from level one and to level two and uh, now let's set the distance of this to be um 10 meters 10,000 is in fact 10 meters all right so let's go back to our 3d view and uh, let's quickly change these settings so this is going to be smooth this is going to be activate both of the shadows this is going to be enable sketchy lines uh, depth cue let's leave that lightning let's change it into the top left perfect and uh, let's close the close close that photoelectric yeah yes i want to enable that and let's enable sky okay now and um, a million times better so you know the concept is to make our own cut wall so this is going to be the glass um, blocks um all right glass box right and uh, here is the trick so we have to import the curtain panel panel family that we made this is family one and if you guys remember the the distance was uh, the height and the width was 200 and the distance is going to be 200 again apply and uh, come on come on come on yes and check this out guys so our video is complete and these are the beautiful uh glass panel facades that exactly the reference image that we saw so look check this out and uh, check out what we have made so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from them and now you can do whatever you want to do with that all right
Uh, so guys, you know before I end the video, just give me 20 more seconds. So check this out. I paused the video for like 15, for 10 minutes I think. And I made that starting image that I showed you. Do you guys remember I said that I'm going to replicate something? So look at this and look at what I have made. So, Alright, so you know once you, I've even added a ceiling and I've even added some lights onto it. So overall I think it's the same thing, almost the same copy. So, and uh, so you know these are the corrugated, uh, the bubbly glass blocks all right so it kind of looks very cool and nice so once your concept is clear you can use them however you want these are plain simple curtain walls and they're embedded into a normal wall so it's nothing hard so i hope you guys enjoy the video and i hope you learned something from it all right take care of yourself and uh, bye bye